All of these animals were once homeless. Some wandered the streets, lost and afraid. Some came from guardians who could no longer care for them. And others were simply let go by families who didn't want them anymore. But you can relax now because they're all living in homes just like yours. Now a member of the family, safe, secure, and loved. Dogs, cats, bunnies, and hamsters, and an occasional turtle or snake, not wild ones, but once someone's pet, once homeless, all of these animals now have homes. How did it happen? It all starts right here at the Santa Fe Animal Shelter, your hometown shelter. We took them in, we cared for them, and helped them find their forever home. Love lives here. We are guided by three important principles. One, supporting animals. Two, saving lives. And lastly, spreading compassion. That's what the Santa Fe Animal Shelter does every day. We bring wonderful animals together with individuals and families who will love and care for them. This is made possible by the staff and hundreds of volunteers who work so hard to make happy endings happen. We are a privately owned shelter, meaning we are not run by city or county government or by the state of New Mexico. We are an open admission shelter, which means that we accept all companion animals regardless of their condition or circumstances. And we're proud to say that the Santa Fe Animal Shelter is a no-kill shelter with an outstanding adoption rate, meaning we adopt out over 90% of the animals that come to us. Let's take a closer look at the Santa Fe Animal Shelter, one of the best shelters not only in New Mexico, but in the entire country. Every animal that comes to the shelter first enters through the admissions building. Over 5,000 homeless animals come to our shelter every year. Some are picked up by city and county animal services. Others are found by people in the community and some come from sad guardians who could no longer care for them. When these animals first arrive at the shelter, we make sure that they are healthy. We check them for a tag or microchip, which we hope can lead us back to their families. Last year, we returned over 1,100 lost dogs and cats to their guardians. That's a very happy phone call to a frantic family member who is so relieved to see that their beloved dog or cat returned. If there is no tag or microchip, we hold them for four to seven days, hoping the family will contact the shelter. During this time, they receive everything that they need, including the most important thing, love. After four to seven days, if we haven't found their guardians, we begin to get the animals ready to move to our adoption building, where they will eventually find a new forever family. Love lives here in our adoption building. Open seven days a week, this is where people come and search for a new companion animal to add to their family. Some people have seen a special animal on our website and some just want to see who's there that day. One area of the adoption building holds our rabbits, not wild rabbits, but house rabbits who enjoy living inside a home. In the right home setting, these bunnies can make wonderful companion animals. Did you know that house rabbits are litter box trained? In another area of the building, we house our wonderful dogs who need forever homes. Almost every kind of dog comes and goes through the adoption building. Puppies, older dogs, big dogs, small dogs, mixed breeds, and sometimes a few purebreds. All there waiting for the perfect person or family to take them home. And remember, several thousand animals do exactly that every year. All kennels contain towels, blankets, and toys. Even the floors are heated in the wintertime to keep them warm and snuggly all night long. Every dog also goes out for exercise, walks, and playtime with other dogs every single day. For some, this is the best part of their day. Another part of the adoption building is where our cats live, an area where they can climb, play, and wait for a person or a family to take them home. These temporary quarters are designed just for cats, 
They can be high or low, out in front, or tucked away in a cozy cave if they want some privacy. We have kittens and older cats that come in in all sizes and colors and breeds. They are lovingly cared for until they find their forever home. And let's not forget about the critters. Guinea pigs, hamsters, and an occasional bird or ferret, snakes and turtles who were once someone's pet are now looking for a second chance in life. Well, there's a quick look at the adoption building. Love certainly lives here. Let's take a look in another building of the shelter. Sometimes shelter animals need medical attention, and so do the animals that are adopted and are part of someone's family. Just like us, dogs, cats, and other companion animals need yearly checkups. In between the adoption and admissions building is the Thaw Animal Hospital and the shelter clinic. The shelter clinic takes care of homeless shelter animals, while the Thaw Animal Hospital is open to the public and their family's pets. With some of the best veterinary care in the city, the public can make an appointment and bring their dogs and cats in for treatment at costs often lower than other clinics around Santa Fe. Just outside the clinic doors and up the small hill sits Roddy's Rehab. This building is what sets us apart from most shelters across the country. It's our rehab facility, a unique place for dogs and sometimes cats who need special attention in order to get them ready to be placed in adoptions. For example, some dogs arrive at the shelter not properly socialized. They may not get along with other dogs, others might be afraid of people, and some may be extremely withdrawn because of previous abuse or trauma. Left in those fearful, oftentimes sad conditions, they would have little chance of being adopted. But with special attention from our highly trained behavior staff, these dogs can overcome these problems and develop new behaviors that will make them attractive to potential adopters. This doesn't happen overnight. But with the patience, time, love, and skills from our rehab staff, these animals can eventually find their way to a forever home. We believe that love lives here. Although most shelter activity takes place at our main campus, which includes admissions, adoptions, Thaw Animal Hospital, the shelter clinic, and our rehab center, there is also three other shelter facilities located in other parts of Santa Fe. On the south side of Santa Fe on Camino Entrada is our spay and neuter wellness clinic. Here the shelter offers low-cost spay and neuter services to support our ongoing efforts to reduce animal overpopulation, which is a major cause of animal neglect and abuse. The clinic also offers vaccinations and microchipping, two important aspects of keeping our animals healthy and safe. Being a private shelter, we depend on the community to provide the money to do the life-saving work for the animals that come to us. Did you know it costs an average of $650 for us to save each animal that comes to the shelter and receives our services? We must continually work to raise money for these animals in need. It takes a lot of money to purchase food, equipment, providing veterinary services, maintaining our buildings, and employ our hardworking staff. One source of income is our two quality resale stores, The Cat. Here we take in donated clothing, furniture, jewelry, valuable artwork, books, and many other items. Then we sell those items in order to fund the life-saving work that we do back on our main campus. We encourage our community to donate items to The Cat Santa Fe and also to shop there because you never know what treasures you might find in our two resale stores. Plus, it's a great way to help save lives. Before we end our tour of all things Santa Fe Animal Shelter, here are some people who contribute so much to the shelter, our wonderful volunteers. Before the pandemic, volunteers walked dogs, cuddled cats, socialized puppies, and lent a hand with shelter chores like cleaning and doing laundry. Other volunteers make classroom presentations as part of our humane education program, providing students with an inside look at animal welfare and how they can advocate for animals in their own communities. We also have volunteers who take their own certified pet outreach dogs to places like hospitals, nursing homes, and schools. The shelter would not be successful without our many dedicated volunteers 
that go above and beyond to help us every day of the year. Love lives here. We hope you've enjoyed this very quick tour of your hometown shelter. We truly believe that the Santa Fe Animal Shelter is one of the best in the country. Sometime in the future, we invite you to visit us. We look forward to meeting you. All of our adoptable animals can be viewed on our website, sfhumanesociety.org. We will end our tour here where we began with the animals we work so hard to care for. We also salute the people who volunteer, support us financially, and choose the shelter when it's time to bring a four-legged friend home. Each day we are guided by our most important goals, supporting animals, saving lives, spreading compassion. That is what we do every day. And that is why you can be proud of your hometown shelter. We are the Santa Fe Animal Shelter, saving lives for over 80 years, today, tomorrow, and always.